that uh, this, this person is a person living with HIV who was uh, diagnosed or who developed uh, leukemia. And for uh, treating the leukemia, uh, he first received uh, uh, chemotherapy that worked and uh, uh, there was remission of the leukemia, but unfortunately it came back after a, a few months. So without any other uh, alternative, the, the, the clinical team in Dusseldorf uh, proposed, uh, uh, proposed him a stem cell transplant as a uh, last solution to uh, to get rid of the leukemia. Uh, the stem cell transplant, what it's going to do is to replace the immune cells from the uh, patient uh, with uh, with uh, immune cells from the from the donor. And in the case of uh, people with HIV, this means that the immune cells from the donor are going to replace and destroy the immune cells that are those carrying HIV in the patient. So progressively this is going to eliminate most of the uh, infected cells present in the, in the body. This is clearly a, 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 an exciting uh, result, but it's not the therapeutic solution for everyone, for uh, every person living with HIV. But uh, at least this uh, stimulates our uh, search for other alternatives, uh, for instance, trying to introduce an equivalent mutation as the one that the donor uh, naturally had, uh, introduce this kind of mutation uh, directly in the people living with HIV without uh, undergoing a stem cell transplant.